Hey there. Wanna paint your aircraft in X Plane 11, but GIMP seems too hard and you don't know where to start? Then this is the video for you. Let's get started. <laughs> You will need to know a couple of things before we start. The first thing is how the livery system in X-Plane and quite a lot of other flight simulators out there work. Now imagine this. The aircraft that you want to modify is made up of paper and you want to lay it flat on a, on a flat surface without folding it. You are going to make some cuts and then you are going to lay it flat. Now what happens in X-Plane 11 is the aircraft is cut up into pieces and that is laid flat on an image. So if we want to edit let's say the vertical stabilizer we have to find its corresponding parts and we want to edit that in an image editing software. Now quite a few of you have windows in which the default image editing software is Microsoft Paint. But Mac and Linux users, once you get the idea, you will be able to edit it yourself in the image editor of your choice. And with that being said, let's jump right into it. Now the first thing we will be requiring is a piece of software called X and Convert. Well, rather you can just use any image conversion software you want, but X and Convert's free and it converts a lot of formats. And explains default format is .dds and we want to convert that to .png portable network graphic so that MS Paint can read it and we can edit it using it. Well, don't worry, even explain can read a PNG file. So, so let's begin. Now, the first thing we'll be doing is opening explains root folder. Then we head over to the aircraft folder and we find our aircraft in it now for this video i'll be showing you how we can edit a simple boeing 737-800 so it the one that's included default with explain 11 so let's head over to laminar research we find the b737-800 open it up and here we'll be having a folder called liveries so under liveries folder, we just take any existing livery and we just duplicate it. We just duplicate the folder. Okay, and then we just rename this folder to whatever we want our livery name to be. Let me just call this um, Flashy. There we go. And then we open up the liveries folder. And we just proceed by reading the name this is the icon and this is the thumbnail you as you can see right here so if it's not that in here we have to usually head over to the objects folder and here we find 738 fuse lodge because that's the so as I was telling the airplane is cut up into pieces and the fuse lodge and all the stuff related to it are in this image while the tail is in this image and the engines are in this image. Now let's begin by editing the fuselage and let's just take the fuselage, open up our X and convert. And then we just drag this DTS file here, head over to output. And I have set a folder in here in this field. Remember, this cannot be a folder inside your uh, directly inside your Windows SSD or whatever file storage. So we just pick our image and then we hit convert. Bam! And we're done. Once it finishes with a green line here, we can head over to our desktop and then we open up the converted file. So we right click in MS Windows and then we head over to the edit button here. It's going to default open that in MS Paint. Bam! Now the first thing you will observe 
is the aircraft is totally distorted. If you just take a look at this, the aircraft is totally distorted. Okay, so what we will be doing is finding out which part corresponds to which. This looks like the nose of our aircraft. So, and this looks like the area where the wing will be, and this is our airplane's name. So, the best option here would be to use the polygon tool and then slowly trace around it. First, you click and drag, and then keep clicking for the additional points. And then we head over down here, and um. You can just leave it as it is and each part here corresponds to one part. For example, this looks like the wheel well of the aircraft where the wheels are stored. And then these are the other extra wheel structure, those small wing thingies on the top of the plane and whatnot. So we're just focusing on the fuselage. So we're just going to craze it. It does not need to be that accurate. So we just trace it around and then we trace it down into the cockpit and then back to the starting point. Then we click on the fill button and we hit a solid color and we can pick which color we want the base, co base color of our aircraft to be. In this case, let's just go with red. That's color two there. Then we can add some text on an aircraft just by using the font tool. Uh, yeah, there. And once we're done, we can head over to some other tool and it's done. Now we can pick up a rectangle and we can create some designs around it. We want um, a solid outline of, of the largest size. Yeah, we can just decorate it as far as we want. And now, remember, this is only the left side of our aircraft. Now, if we want the same thing to come out to the right side, there is a neat, simple trick. Just hold Windows, Shift, S. And get up this pop-up of a screen snip. And then just slide it across. Capture this. Okay, so we can just put it here. And we can basically just do the same thing over again just trace it fill it with a solid color and we're done we just connect it all back fill it up with a solid color of red and red and then we paste this all about flying stuff back here. Paste it again. Now drag it to make it big. And remember, we need to invert this. So we right click. And then we hit rotate. We hit flip horizontally. And this is when it looks right in X plane 11. This is mainly because the, both the textures are facing to the left. One of the texture will be inverted, I mean one of the cutout will be inverted and that will be pasted on the right side of the plane. So if we invert something now, it will look the right way in X plane 11. Now once we're done, we can just save this. And we can close it. Yeah, so we want to take the fuselage, drop it in the objects folder. Bam! And we're done. We just save this. We hadn't renamed this one. Apparently, it didn't work. Remember, we need to rename and remove the underscore result or it won't work. And then we open up explain 11. We hit new flight. Go to our aircraft which we modified, customized, set it to flashy stuff. And the livery will not be visible in this thumbnail because we had to edit the thumbnail. And then we just start a decent flight. Everything's normal.
Now, as you can see, we are spawning somewhere. Somewhere. But our livery is working. We just needed to paint the top of it, even the tail. We have to paint the windows separately. The windows are not models. They are actually painted in the liveries. That's one thing I've noticed. And if you take a look at this beautiful livery, I mean, it, of course, it's not beautiful. You can make it more beautiful if you're an artist. Eh, just put in all your design and decorative stuff there and you'll have a wonderful livery, I guarantee it. And yeah, that's about it. Hope you all learned something in this video. If you enjoyed the video, consider watching the other videos in my channel. I hope you will enjoy them too. And as always, thanks for watching.